So another retail win from Potter directly. What is up everybody? Welcome to the sneaker circle. It's your boy Danny back with another review and this is the second installment the second colorway of the Air Max one line directly from Potter. Now I have been able to get them directly from their site. So I think a week earlier than the US release and I managed to get a cool box this time instead of a replacement. All right now just getting straight to the point. Um. I don't like these as much as I like the other ones. I gotta be honest. Don't, don't get me wrong. Colorway's nice. I, I I love the way the waves like aesthetic and the theme of the shoe and what Potter represents. But I feel like they dropped the ball when it comes to the shape on these. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So let me get these out real quick and let's go over the box because I couldn't show you that last time. So this is a box that it's supposed to come in. I know a lot of people are calling it the special edition box, but it's, it's, it is a special edition box. Don't get me wrong. Like you won't see a regular Air Max box for these. You'll see the orange replacement Nike boxes for pairs directly from Pata because these were damaged or whatever the story was. But this is the box it comes with. And I'm a sucker for nice boxes. I know a lot of people always get on your case. People always say, you know, you don't wear the box, whatever. Lobby Libby right there, that's sick. It's just sick, but yo, if you're collecting these and you want these and you're spending money, especially if you're getting them from Potter directly, 210 after shipping versus like what, 170 here if I would've bought them off Nike or sneakers, if I would've won there that way, at least. You know, you get kind of bitter. So, second installment, the Aqua Noise. Man, this white table is getting kind of dirty. Might have to replace it. Here we go. Look at these, look at these. Now, off bat, the shape doesn't look too bad. The shape doesn't look like crazy in terms of, I guess it's not too much of a banana toe box. Something true Air Max One collectors absolutely despise, but these don't give you that OG feel that the Monarchs did. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. But before that, let's finish, let's finish the review, Danny. Focus, focus on the review. So I did try these on, fitting is the same. You can stick true to size. You don't have to size up like normal Air Maxes. I think um, pretty spot on with that. You do have a gray detail, not a white detail, a gray detail with like a sail midsole. You do have the laces to match the midsole. I have those on my Monarch, so I'll show you exactly what that looks like. You have Pata Air Max on the tongue. And again, just like this nice cotton or linen right here. And then you have Nubuck. This whole shoe is Nubuck. And I know you wanna say it's white, but it's not really white. I'll show you the perfect example. So I did see a couple of people mentioning like, and a couple of people having edits out there saying that these are kind of like UNCs. To me, that's not the case. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So I know these aren't true UNCs, but they're universities in the closest ones that I have in my disposal. Actually, no, I have, I have a, hold on one second. So I guess technically the closest UNC I have are off whites. They've been in a box, so they haven't really aged that much. They still have that like blue hue on the, on the whites or whatever. And look, look at that, look at that. This is UNC, this is University, and this is Aqua Noise. You can tell like the whole class of blue is different. The shades are different, the pigments are different. Like, I feel like it's not a justifiable comparison. Like these can't be a UNC replacement if you're like a, a really big fiend or fanatic for, you know, that colorway. These have more of like a green to like a dark slate, like tone to them, you know? All right, let me get these out of the way because it's not, it's not a video for them. So additional things that come with them are this little bracelet. Is the bracelet different? I haven't, I haven't opened it, I don't know. Comes in this little baggie. I don't think, I don't think it's different. I don't think it's too different. God, it's a little drug pouch, god damn. Get off that to the side. Maybe the Pata itself might be different. It might be blue. I don't know, I'd have, to, I'd have to look at the other bracelets. Now, I do have an extra orange Monarch bracelet. If anyone wants it, just, you know, drop a comment down below. Make sure you're following the channel on Instagram. Here, if you're not subbed, you ain't getting it, but just, just let me know. So that's going through these shoes, super dope. I, I love the colorway, but I don't know. I don't know what the case is. This, this toe box just isn't doing it as much as Monarchs were for me. So let me just, I guess I could pull these out and just have these side by side hold on let me just have these side by side so here we do have the monarchs we have that beautiful orange the whites and the off-white sole or the sail sole completely the same liner the same the only difference here is the actual coloring but i really do feel like they messed up actually the other shoe would have been better 
I really do feel like they messed up when it comes to this toe box right here. So let me get these as, as, as like even as I can. I guess the lens can let me go closer. You see how the blue pair has more of a ridge going up. So let me focus on this one versus this one. If it focuses, like it's, it's so subtle that, well, it's not that subtle. You can kind of see right here, it has more of a rounded toe than like that sleek toe. So what I'm basically talking about is this is something really popular amongst collectors. Like you get this OG shape to it and it has a really like fine point to it. Oh, I wonder how close I get with this lens. So you see how like there's quite a bit of space between the tip right here and the mud guard versus if you go here, there's even more space and it's not as rounded. It, well, it is more rounded. It's not like as pointed out. It's like, it's it's the only thing that's throwing me off with these. Besides that, toe boxes seem almost the same. I do feel like this is just a bit wider. I did throw them both on. Um, I've, I haven't worn these yet, but I've been like, I wore them around the house, you know? It's been rainy, don't kill me. But I threw these on as soon as they came in. Not the other pair, the pair that was laced, because my left foot's the tricky foot. And they fit pretty much, if anything, this gives me a little bit more space in the toe. Again, not something that's gonna make or break the shoe for me, but if they would have executed as perfectly as this did, this would have been contender for like sneaker of the year, you know? This whole pack, this whole set to me was a contender of the year. Now it's more of just, just Monarchs. We do have a couple more colorways that are supposed to release. Now, I don't know. If they drop the ball, kind of like what they did with this on the toe box. Now, don't get me wrong. The toe box isn't like terrible. It's not a pure banana shape. It's still like, if, if this was originally this, maybe maybe I wouldn't have been so over the moon for him. But I don't know. It makes me wonder how the how that leather pair is gonna be. It makes me wonder how like the fourth colorway is gonna be. And like, I do want the set. I want them all. I love Pata as a brand ever since I've been into runners, like 2011 when I first got in. Um, those Air Maxes, that Corduroy pack, all of it, the denim pack, more like it. Love them. They've, they've, they've been my favorite. So I feel like I have to own these because I love this one. This one, like the colorway is cool, it's muted, but man, I really wish they would have like stuck to that. They would have stuck to their guns. I don't know, because I have been seeing some people say their pairs are exactly the same and some people like me get more of that rounded toe. I wonder if it's a, it's like a UK thing. Um, I'm gonna wait, see till people get their sneakers pairs in. I'm gonna see like what they look like, how they like, I guess if they have the same complaints because it might've been a manufacturing error. But I don't know. I really hope this wasn't a rush job or a rush release. And that's probably where we're gonna leave this review. I'm gonna give you a couple close-ups just to show you differences between the two colorways. They're still great shoes. For the price they're going for, they're still great shoes. And let me start with these since it's kind of their, their review. So there we go. We have that back. Bam, bam. Here is that mini swoosh and here is that culprit toe box right there. So here you see you have more of that big round toe. Let me show you from the other side as well. Bam, but the waves, they're pretty much the same. They're pretty nice. Clean, clean details. Um, I'll grab the other pair as well. I have to show you both, right? Gotta be fair. Has that rounded edge. Here we go, swooshes, waves beautiful color and here's that bottom of the sole here's this one so again the only difference is that orange and the blue super sick and i guess i'll show you this one might as well you go go watch that video if you want you don't have to but i'd love you if you do back and that's probably where i'm going to end this video again thank you guys for tuning in and thank you guys for checking me out here we go monarchs one last look and then we have the aqua noise run it right here and oh that's it i'll see you guys in the next video peace hopefully it's gonna be on monday or tuesday with those salihi bembry yurts 574s all right that's it done talking bye